Hi! In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the further developments made to my Unreal Engine submarine project. The illusion of a body of water in games is hard to produce, and requires fog and particles to look right. In most games, this is a trivial fix. As soon as the camera dips below water, fog and particles are instantly made visible, and then removed as the camera resurfaces. In this case, it's not as simple though, because the camera is inside of the submarine, there's a point where both underwater and above water is visible. In my previous attempt at a submarine game, in Unity, I avoided surfacing altogether, but in order to really sell the idea of being underwater, I felt the player should be able to resurface and float. The fog in game is a custom post-process effect, which lets me control darkness with depth and colour. Fogging everything isn't good enough though, so fog needs to be culled above water level. For the sake of simulation across all objects, I'm using zero on the z-axis. This still isn't perfect though, so the final effect has two layers. The main fog, and another above, which fades back as the player nears the surface. It's not the prettiest solution, but it ensures the player will always see fog when they dip under the waterline. It's then a simple matter of ensuring particle materials cull above zero on the z-axis and within 200 units of the camera, so you don't get bubbles and the like inside of the submarine. The second challenge was the heads-up display. From the earliest concepts of this project, the HUD has always been an integral part of the player's vehicle, physically rendered as part of the game world. Pasting it onto the glass bubble isn't really enough, as the camera can move around the cockpit, and so the targeting information needs to appear ahead of the submarine, similar to a red dot site or a fighter jet HUD. In the Unity prototype, the HUD was just large geometry outside of the submarine, and assigned to a separate render layer. The submarine itself was also separate, ensuring it rendered over the HUD, and both over the outside world. Unreal lacks this feature in any simple means, and so a new solution was required. In this version, the HUD is still made using mesh geometry outside of the cockpit, but here it only writes to the depth buffer, where a separate mesh on the glass bubble uses a transparent material to draw the object ahead of it. This is much more true to life, and opens up possibilities of some interesting effects, as well as making the turning off of the HUD as simple as hiding the display object. Currently, the HUD is limited to one colour at a time, but with a new addition of a custom stencil to the engine, a multicoloured version will be very simple to implement. One of the core elements developed on has been making the submarines more modular, allowing for weapons and gadgets to be added and defined in a data table, and for the player to customise their craft in a shop, changing and refilling weapons, as well as buying new subs with unique properties. Gadgets like the Harpoon open up some creative gameplay and traversal possibilities, and some could even be interfaced with inside of the cockpit. Each weapon behaves differently, but all are common in that they have a substantial amount of recoil and inherit the player's velocity, forcing the player to consider their own movement when firing. Weapon feedback is handled with object tags, and is communicated through the heads-up display. All of these elements will hopefully be a solid groundwork for expanding the game. That's all for now. I'll be releasing a playable test environment to gather feedback soon, so watch this space.